Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to look at some XML support in Faro. The first thing you need to do to use XML support in Faro is load it. So you go to Gopher and you want to load the configuration of XML support from the Metacello repository. And then just once you've got the configuration, load it. That loads cleanly. I've already done that, so you're not going to have to watch the little dialogs flash up. Once you've done that, using it is pretty simple. You want to get a stream on an XML file? Take this. I've got my podcast feed for independent misinterpretations here, and I'm going to send as URL to the string. Retrieve contents and get contents stream on that. And then once I've got a stream on that, I can then go ahead and ask the DOM parser to parse the document from the stream. And if I do all of those things, we should get back an XML document. And you see I've got an XML document, so let's open this up a bit. And there I've got the nodes here, I've got the version, I've got the encoding, I've got the doc type declaration, which isn't there. So you've got all that information. Now, once you've done that, you can start taking that apart and doing interesting things. So to get something, let's just go ahead and find all the title tags. And what I'm going to do is ask tags name. So if you look through the XML doc, which you can come in here and take a look at this guy and take a look at all of the, let's move this over, come in and look at the XML parser, DOM parser, look at all the APIs you can use. You take that apart a bit and you find that you can go ahead and look for tags named anything that's in there. So I'm going to look for the titles. Now I'm just going to grab the title strings out of that and collect them so you can see that I'm working with the XML documents. So let's go ahead and inspect the results of that. And if you look at this, you've got an ordered collection of interesting things. So I've got independent misinterpretations, the name of the feed, and you scroll down and you'll start getting things like, well, actually I'm just scrolling the list, I'm not going through. So you come in here and you have IM67, the last podcast, duplicated because of the EAAC feed, then episode 66, and so on. So you've got all of these items in here, so I'm pulling out the titles one by one, going back in time through that feed. So you can see how that all works, and you can also see that pulling out the tags gives you the ability to get individual tags without having to do regex parsing. You can go ahead and treat these XML documents as structured data, as of course they are, and pull out anything you want based on what you know is there or suspect is there. You can look for things, so you can go ahead and just treat it as XML and build whatever tools you need. So if I were doing bottom feeder in Faro, I have all the baseline tools here that I had in VisualWorks years ago. Same basic parser, I think. This is actually based on the same code. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.